There's this girl that I've been chatting to called Josie for about six years. We've followed each other on Instagram for a long time. And we've always chatted and said that one day we'll meet up. And I was chatting to her earlier and I said, look, I'd fancy making a video tonight. And she suggested, why well, don't I drive down that way, finally meet up with her and make a video at the same time. The reason why we haven't met up before is because I live all the way in the southeast of the UK. She lives all the way in the southwest of the UK. And it's about a four hour drive to get down there. But that is what this van is for, road trips, being spontaneous and doing things I wouldn't usually do. So it is nearly 8pm already so I'm not going to make it down to her tonight but I'm going to head in that general direction. Oh no, it's a pay and display car park as well and I think you get your money back in there but I've got no cash on me. Do we risk it? I think we do. Just loaded up everything in the back and I've realised I forgot to turn the fridge on but luckily for me I don't know if you can see that my fridge is Bluetooth and just like that the fridge is on so do you know where the diesel is because this you haven't got any diesel? It says you have on the pump, but fair enough. Oh, great. Don't you worry. We will find some if it's the last thing I do. All right, looks like we're in luck. Number five, please. One pound 78, point nine pence per litre. So for now, I'm just gonna start heading west until I get bored of driving, and then I'm gonna pull over. I don't believe my luck. I thought traveling at night is gonna cut out so much of the time because there's not gonna be much traffic. It is not looking good. I oh, know there's flashing lights coming through and everything. I'm still here, having a time of my life. So far there's been seven emergency vehicles flying past up the hard shoulder. Kind protein, crunchy peanut butter, plant protein bars. And finally, the traffic is starting to move. Right, change of plan. Because of that hold up on the motorway, I think it's getting mad late now and I just wanna push on and do as much driving as I can tonight which means that by the time I get there it's going to be so late I'm not going to want to cook and I'm going to be so hungry by then as well so to save doing all of that I just bought myself a sandwich and a packet of crisps and there's a place that I found on park for night near Yeovil so before I pull away from this garage I'm just going to quickly jump in the back and get the bed out get everything ready so that when I pull up to this car park I can literally just jump straight in the back and hopefully get some sleep and that is job done Let's get back on the road. Right, it's coming up to half past midnight and there's half an hour left on the sat nav to go and I just can't be bothered. I'm pulling into this petrol station in the hope that I can tuck myself up somewhere and get away with sleeping here. It's a nice little spot we've got here. Petrol station, we've even got our own bin so we can make sure we get rid of our rubbish like we're supposed to. But the rain is coming down, so let's jump in the back. Oh, I'm inside. I don't know if you can hear. There's a lot of rain hitting the roof. I actually quite like it. I've not really been in a van when it's been raining before. And also it means it disguises the noise of the traffic. It's 20 to 1 in the morning. I've just been looking on the map. So to where Josie lives, it's an hour and 45 minutes away still. And there's a gym, I think, somewhere halfway between me and her. So in the morning, yeah, nearly another couple of hours drive, but we've taken a lot of the journey off of what we would have had to do if I left in the morning. Now, usually before I go to bed in this thing, 
the cinema screen always comes down and I put the projector on but tonight I think I am literally just going to try and sleep. Well, I'll clear my teeth, I'm ready for bed. Now all I've got to do is hope that I don't get booted out of here in the middle of the night. That's all we need. But for now I'm going to get some sleep and we're going to continue this journey in the morning. Morning people, I need a coffee. I slept quite good actually, but I just didn't get enough sleep. We've got my electric razor charging up. Well, I've had a quick coffee and a cereal bar. I kind of wish I ate more, I'm quite hungry now. We're heading out of here and we're going to this gym in Yeovil where hopefully it's easy enough for me to get in. I don't know where the hell I am, but this little village that I'm in is well nice. I mean, it says we're 12 minutes away from the gym, so I guess I'm near Yeovil. I don't think I'm in Yeovil. Right, the sofa's up. For some reason, my electric razor is not charging. I think it might be broken. It's brand new, but still, it's just not working. So the only other thing that I've got with a proper plug, and I need to charge it anyway, is my drone. So I'm gonna plug it in and hope that it's not the socket. Yeah, they're working fine. The razor's broken. Right, I'm gonna leave that drone on charge whilst I go into the gym. Have a shower, I'm not gonna have a workout because I'm lazy like that. Metal changing's just to the left. Gym's upstairs to get up and so down the end of the gym. Perfect, thank you Never underestimate the pure magic of a hot shower. I'm about halfway now between the gym and where Josie lives. But she got up a little bit late, she's not quite ready yet. Plus I'm really hungry so I thought I'd take the opportunity to pull over in this lay-by and make a toasty and have one more coffee. Two more minutes. I think I'm gonna eat this outside to save using a plate. That is some good toasty. The Ridge Monkey never fails. The best thing about having toasties in the van, other than the fact that you're having toasties, obviously, is there's no washing up. This thing is so good, you don't need any oil or anything. Just open it up afterwards, brush the crumbs out, and you're good to go. Just time for a quick coffee and then we're going to get a move on. Right, let's get down the seafront and find out where she is. That bread was so small. It was barely big enough to fill up a teenage guinea pig. But it was really nice. So that sorted me right out. Right. It's a proper old seaside town, isn't it? I don't know if we're going to have much luck parking along here. Quite as well busy. Unbelievable. Are all these cars just doing loops of this section until they find a space? I think that's what's going on, you know. Right, let's do another loop. See if we can find a space this time. If not, I just saw a road over there. It looked like it had a couple of spaces in it. Oh look, they found the space. I'm just gonna pull into this bit that you're not supposed to pull into, just to show you the view. And there's a space right here, look. I missed that. Right. We're in. And there she is. It's gonna say hello. The weather has been so nice all day it's where I was. It's been boiling, it's got bloody freezing. It has been so nice. How you doing? You too. 
Oh, is it? Is this painted? <laughs> <laughs> there she is. Is this painted? I'll come around the corner up the top. You don't really can see the whole of that bay. Yeah, yeah. I'll come around the corner. I was like, what? It's well nice. Yeah, have you ever been here before? No. You're going swimming? Well, I think I'll give it a miss. <laughs> this van's got its own Instagram as well. Oh, there we go. What's the bathroom? Come on then, give us a tour. No, don't, don't. It's, it's a mess, but this is that. It's a As work it, in progress, yeah? Yeah, it is. But, God, it makes know. me jealous of the amount of space you got. I know. When you like, sleep in it, do you sleep across the back? How do I normally how sleep? How tall are you? I sleep like this. I've got the, the right. leisure battery, which goes to this, and the speakers throughout here. And then Have the, you done it all yourself? So I bought it, like, so ex excluding this, so it was just a U-shaped seating area. So I built this so that I can put a bed in it. But then that, that it comes in and out. Right, so the plan is I'm gonna follow her to, I don't know where she said, somewhere else. Right, we're just pulling in now. It's just started to rain. But still, there's been some really nice views on the way down here. So I certainly can't complain. And this is a view in itself, even if it isn't the best of weather. Look, van friend. Yeah, come on, wave at me. Come on, wave at me. I'm going to wave at you. <laughs> <laughs> right, this is what happens when you've got camper vans. You park at the beach and then other camper vans like that rock up. Let me see in his van. We were just talking about the benefits of having a bigger van and a smaller van. I think we should go and ask him to have a little look in his van. Shall I go and yeah, ask him? Yeah, I reckon so. God, I didn't think there's anything out here. Why don't I just um, poke my camera in and have a little... Do you mind if I stand in there with that? Yeah, you carry on, mate, can you? God, oh, look at that. Is that a width for his bed? How wide is that? How wide is it? It's or, or long, lengthways. Lengthways, it's five foot ten. Look, we just uh, invited <laughs> ourselves into your... I was just saying, you shouldn't go into a windowless van, really. But there you go. There's a window. Eh? There's a window. Oh, there is a window, yeah. <laughs> there is. I've lost the front of the van. Oh, no, I've lost my Volkswagen badge. <laughs> <laughs> the wind is literally ripping our vehicles apart. <laughs> you right there? You can't even get in. Oh, my hair's still out. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> my hair's still out, man. <laughs> How far do you think it is to the end of the beach, where the chips and stuff is? Where the what is? <laughs> the end of the beach, so... The chips? <laughs> it's a chip shop, yeah. How am I supposed to know there's a chip shop up there? <laughs> there's a chip shop. How close are you going to hold it to your eyeballs? I feel my eyes are closer together than yours. You can move the whole thing, they're quite stiff, but you, yeah, oh, yeah, like that. Oh, there we go. Oh! Where's the bloke? There he is. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to pick it up. Yeah, Imagine if he, look, he looks at me and I'm just dead, <laughs> dead in his face. <laughs> I actually feel I can lick him. <laughs> you what? Because <laughs> I'm that close. You say you can lick him? Lick him, yeah, because he's that close. Do you know what I mean? All right, try. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Go on, try and lick him. <laughs> what was the noise? <laughs> right, so this bloke is uh, setting up a kite to do some kite surfing. My money is on the fact that he's going to drown. <laughs> and Josie's going to have to get out. And save him. And save him. Oh, look, oh. it's inflated. Do you reckon there's adrenaline's going? Something's going, his legs have gone. He's just sat there. <laughs> I'm not sure how you're supposed to do it. Oh, here we go. Maybe he's like a proper professional, and in a minute he's just gonna impress him. No, he's just having a bath. <laughs> I mean, it's not been the biggest success for him. No, it, I think he's meant to be more in the sea, isn't he? And up, right? I think he's trying to stand up. Go on. All right, call the coast guard. It's game over. Josie seems to be uh, getting right involved with the mechanic work, even though it's pouring with rain. What are you doing under there? Just putting the hose back, as you do. My 
my GoPro that is on the windscreen has run out of memory. But anyway, I've asked Josie to lead us to a pub. What's she pulling over for? Is this where she lives? Oh no, she's got hazards on. What's going on here? Right. Her car is beeping at her. Um, I think it might have an oil leak because the oil light's flashing. So let's go and see if we can figure this one out. <laughs> <laughs> you got plenty there. Well, what are you bloody beeping about then? Where's the oil? Wait, wipe it again, do it one more time just in case. Is she clean as a whistle? <laughs> it's definitely the oil light that's, that's beeping in the van. I know, it won't be me. Yeah, you got loads in there. Oh, that's bloody fine. Maybe the sensor's broken. I think the issue would be the coolant, not the... and all of this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, that's a bit of an issue. Right, it should be fine. Where's that snail gone? I don't know, it was on here. Oh, it's there. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.